Okay, so here we go. Um, <coughs> this is like part four of this truck here. So as you can see, what I originally started to do was put the bumper. A lot of these trucks are gonna, they rely on the bumper to stop the hood from falling, but the reality of it is, is you can use glue I use straight nails, little trim nails uh, with chrome heads that match kind of like the bolts on here. And what I'll do is pin vise it, drill it in. So I took scotch tape, scotch tape the chrome grill to the hood. Was looking at this and then realized without even planning this at all for the video, but um, I put these rods in, these little brass rods to hold the radiator up. Um, hood doesn't close. So the radiator and supports and stuff aren't in enough. Um, like I was saying before, if you want to pre, you gotta pre-build a lot of stuff. So these just come out. And what I did was there were two holes on the on the radiator support. So what I did was I put two mar pipes in there to try to hold it temporarily. If I can't glue anything, I'd rather not glue anything. I'd rather just click it together, but. So I'm going to take this out, probably motor tool in here a little bit um, to get the radiator, to, to get the hood to close the way it should. So um, also another tip to do uh, is to these, actually these hood pins are actually pretty, pretty worthy. They, uh, come right out, hood comes right off. Um, so what I normally do with the engine is it doesn't, it's not glued in. What I did was took, uh, they call it a, I have it laying here, it's called piano wire. It's just like light gauge wire. And what I've done with the engine tabs is, there we go, uh, kind of just make little loops on the ends of them, drill through the tabs, uh, due to the fact that this motor particularly has, I believe it's got three points, three or four turbo and coolers and stuff going into the radiator, wait, one, two, three, yeah, there's three points going into the radiator, and on the firewall, where this goes in, this has got to connect into here, and then the turbocharger, the air breather's got to cross into there. And it, it's pretty cool if you can actually leave the motor, if the motor isn't totally welded in here yet, you can actually move it around just enough to where you don't have to keep filing and adjusting all the other stuff for the hoses. But um, it's it's pretty cool this does happen. I mean, it does suck. I have to redo this and this, but, you know, nothing's really a big deal because nothing's really totally mounted yet, but I'm way ahead of the directions. If this had happened after your decals are on, your mirrors are on, your windows are in, and you know all of a sudden the hood doesn't close, and you gotta, you know, the more you touch it, I actually use scotch tape uh, for the grill stuff. It doesn't take the chrome off. Um, it might take some of the primer off when I peel it off, but at least you got kind of like a pre-assembled look of what it's supposed to look like. And then you get into the fun stuff of you know putting the mirrors on, doing the decals, and making it look pretty but um, this type of stuff isn't really it's problematic but these things do happen I haven't had this happen in years but um, gonna have to go down to the workbench and cut these off and uh, play around with it but like I said it's nice to this model is pretty cool the firewall actually is one piece so I actually took this out and kind of pre-washed it and black washed it and cleaned it, you know, made it look kind of like it's under the end, you know, the engine interior. So I can take this back out when I paint the whole cab, so, but, um, anyway, I hope this helps out, or at least, uh, people who have done this before know what I'm talking about, but if you're getting in new into building model trucks, it helps out a lot because you still have your grab points here on the chassis, and I pretty much take the wheels up so they stay on, except for the front ones, and... Um, you get all the, uh, whatever you want to call it, the hard stuff out of the way this way. 
this way you're not disappointed or you're not breaking anything that happened before and uh, going back but uh, this is another thing too like I said it always the focal point of the rig is actually this where it closes opens and closes I mean for me it is unless you have a truck that doesn't have an opening hood then you can probably build the thing in two days but uh, all right hope you enjoy it thanks